All right, hello, <laughs> welcome in to this unboxing. This has been a long time in the making. Uh, I've had this cursed city for so long, it's crazy. Uh, I got this when it first came out. Uh, I know a lot of people got it when it was remade, which was fantastic, but it's crazy to me that I've had this for so long. Uh, I'm so excited to build and paint these models. I'm going to try and build these probably in the next little bit uh, and then get them painted up because I'd love to play the game because I've heard nothing but amazing things about Curse City. Um, so yeah, this is still in the wrap. We're going to be cracking it open. And it's funny uh, actually opening it opening it up here because uh one of the miniatures the caster with the uh here we go with the long beard uh actually uh has come broken in a lot of people's boxes because i guess just the way that the frames are set uh and his model the beard is just so thin where uh, a lot of people opened up the box and it was just kind of, you know, you had to do a repair job. There there was no way to get another one, uh, which was funny. So we will take this off here. This is very exciting. I can't wait to take a look at these models. I'm also kind of anxious with uh, that broken model. We'll see if I got uh, um, one that is actually uh, complete or not. And then we can kind of talk through everything with uh, the, one of these box games. So th I played through... Um, the other uh, Warhammer 40k box game that they did that ha at Blackstone Fortress uh, and it was fun right like I enjoyed Blackstone Fortress but um, it it didn't really have I don't know that much replayability for me like I, I played through it a couple times I had fun but with this uh, people have been saying that you can just go back again and again which is something that's very exciting to me and I want to play through this Warhammer quest. It's still very disappointing where the, when this game was released, it was supposed to be like Blackstone Fortress with expansions. Uh, but that, of course, did not happen. Okay, here we go. Pop that off. Ooh, here we go. So we got, uh, it looks like the villainous characters over here are in the gray plastic. Uh, there you go. We got one of the characters right there. Uh, and then we have the uh, characters you get to go through the adventure with in this kind of lighter plastic. Uh, I, I guess I like that they did that. I didn't realize that that was the case with these. Oh, and there is the piece I was talking about, so it is not broken. That's great. So it's just the tip of that beard right there. People got it, and it just had separated, so I'll just have to be very careful clipping that out. But yeah, I'm going to get uh, working on these very soon. Uh, assemble all of them. Uh, I'm going to be ordering some custom bases for them that you can get online that someone made, which I'm very excited about. Uh, here's all the sprues. Wow. Such a cool box. I love it. <clears throat> There's so much character in here. It really is a shame that they didn't get uh, the, the love and support that uh, Blackstone Fortress got. There we go. Toss that aside. Ah, here we go. So here's the rule book. Uh, we got all the bases over here, the dice to play, all the cards. Because, again, it would have been nice getting extra cards over time and, and having those expansion boxes. So let's take all this stuff out. All right, we got the rule book. How to build here. I'll need those. And there's the playing board. Oh, it's so nice to open this thing up finally. Okay. So let's see if I can get this out. Yes, I can. There we go. Wow. So cool. So there's all the tokens. I'll punch all this stuff out. And then here's some of the boards you can construct and put together to make your, your play mat. And then I'm guessing this is just for all of this stuff after you open it up. But yeah, that is the unboxing for Curse City. Uh, it, it's crazy to me how long I had this box. But I just I wanted to do a small unboxing video for it. Uh, I honestly didn't know what uh, the box was like on the inside. And... You know, it's funny to actually finally see it after waiting for so long. But, yeah, can't wait to build these models. I want to do some OSL lighting. I'm really going to try and push myself on painting these with uh, trying some new techniques and different stuff. But there you have it. Let me know in the comments if uh, you were excited to kind of see this unboxing. I was trying to find some stuff online, and it was kind of people going through, like, a huge deep dive of it or versus just going in and just taking a look at the contents. Uh, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. It helps me out 
very much. Uh, and there's going to be a lot of unboxing videos coming up soon, so uh, stay tuned, and I'll see you soon.